Look how amazing this actually did using that as a style reference. With new innovations and AI constantly being added into Canva, there are so many new tips and tricks you may not yet know about. Well, I'm here today to show you one of my new favorites, and this so far has really impressed me. And that's how to create and customize some awesome looking logos directly from within Canva Dream Lab. And here's a quick tip. Did you know that you could actually generate accurate words and text in Canva Dream Lab? And that is gonna be so helpful in today's video. So here we are in Dream Lab, and you can already see I've been working on a few of these already. But here's the thing. What if you need to start from the very beginning and don't already have a logo? Well, no worries, because you can do this if you already have a logo or if you wanna create one from scratch. So to start, if you wanna make some very unique and innovative logos, what you wanna do is have have some very good unique keywords. In this database, it's going to contain some incredibly unique keywords that will allow you to generate some very awesome images that are definitely going to stand out. So for an example, if I use this selected keyword in my description, I'll get images that look like this one right here. If you use this camera in your actual description, you're going to get images that look a certain way. In addition to using specific color palettes, magenta, black, and white, when you use that combination, your images will turn out like this. Don't forget to check the links in the description. You can get that via the links in the description as well. Just make sure you use this discount code because since this is a work in progress, you're going to get it before it is completely done. But the other thing we want to do is actually get some legit prompts specifically for logos. So what you can do is come up with a few catchy prompts. And then when you do end up pasting them over here in Dream Lab, they're going to actually turn out like this right here. For an example, Look at this first row. Every single line of text when it comes to the word Vikings and even this one that says Pacific Islander, it got the words 100% accurately. Other generations in the past, even in Leonardo AI, my text didn't turn out as accurately as I wanted it to. Look how amazing that these logos look. There's a link in the description to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. But I'm gonna show you how to actually get these without needing a prompt as well. There are some other different variations where you're gonna get some very unique and clean and modern style of icon logos like this one right here. Now remember, make sure you pay attention to your screen because anytime we come across a really good prompt that worked, I'll go ahead and show it and then slow the video down. That way you have time to write it down. But let's just make believe we don't have creative prompts, okay? And let's just start with something simply from scratch. So let's remove my prompt box I have at the top and let's go ahead and start with something I highly recommend to start with a good looking logo, okay? So in my prompt, I'm just gonna say modern clean logo of a fox simple. We're going to leave it just like this right now. We're not going to worry about using adjectives or unique keywords. Now, the other thing you want to keep in mind is that before we go a little bit further in this, we also have other options, smart and one-to-one. -one. For logos, leave it at one-to-one -one ratio. For smart, always start with smart. That's going to allow the AI to determine what sort of setting that you need. But as we go further in this, then you could start to use things like 3D render, okay? And then finally, at the very end, we're gonna use add image to create a style reference logo to really customize it and bring things to a whole new level. So again, very simple prompt at the very top. Let's just see what this can come up with by utilizing create. And while that's thinking, as I scroll down, let me just give you another example while that's thinking of how good of a job that this has been doing for me. Again, the text is perfect, and this was actually created with not only the prompt, but you utilizing a style reference image. But back at the top, now look how good this turned out. Again, very generic prompt, modern clean logo of a fox. Now, when we go to the next level, let's just say I like this fox right here. I think already right off the bat, this does look pretty good, okay? Remember, if you wanna take it up a notch, you could also edit it in the design, which I'll show you again in a second. Here are the ones of the panda, and I didn't even have to say the word panda, and look, this looks pretty cool. So right off the bat, good logos, and these are only served as examples for right now. So let's just say right now, we like the way this fox looks. I'm very happy with this one. So let's use this prompt one more time. Okay, modern clean logo of a fox. And now what we're gonna do this time is now add a twist in some unique keywords. And now let's add neon LED strips to it, okay? Go back over to Canva and now hit that comma. And what my prompt says at the very end is outline in neon LED light strips. 
Let's generate that fox one more time and now see what happens with this one. Okay. okay, now look, this looks pretty good. This last one looks amazing and this one looks amazing right here. So you can see the two differences by just the subtle prompt changes. Now watch this. Let's go ahead and now download this image. The reason why is now we're going to use this as a style reference, okay? So now back at the top, if I say logo, if I change it from a fox to a panda, how can I ensure that I'm gonna get it to look like this fox again? But still using the same style, but I don't want a fox, I actually want a panda. Now go ahead and select add image. Now, once you select it, you could see the only option we have for right now is style reference. In the future, you can see that we have content reference and image to image also coming soon. So select style reference. We have different options. We can upload files or select from recent generations. Either way, remember, I did go ahead and download that Fox, but we can also just select recent generations since it's already here for us to choose. And now there is that Fox. We're going to use this image. So select use image. You can see right here, it's added as my style reference, but this time, Hopefully we can get a panda from it. Now go ahead and now select create, okay? Now, after we see how this turns out, I wanna take things to a whole new level. Oh man, and look how cool this looks. Beautiful job, perfectly done. Let's also change it up and instead of a panda, We'll say owl this time. And you can keep doing it over and over again until you get one that you really like. But if I open this one up, look how good that looks. That's pretty cool. And even this one, this one looks great too with the word panda. Now remember, right off the bat, it might not get it accurately 100%. That's where you're gonna have to do some trial and error. But the good thing about this is that you have plenty of tokens to start with. But from here, we're gonna edit it and make it even better. But before we do that, look at this cool looking owl one we got right here, okay? Very awesome, very useful. Unique. I love the way this turned out, but this time watch this. Now we're going to select upload file. Now look at this right here. I have another image I created in Leonardo AI. I'm now going to upload this one and there it is of this cute little ghost. I have smart selected. Let's do it with that. We're also going to do it again with 3D render just to do a quick comparison when this is done. Okay. And while this is thinking, I'm going to remove this ghost and add one more image again as style reference. And now this time I want that real neon looking style one, okay? And now select create. But before we do, let's look at what we got so far. Look at this, this one, fantastic. So this one, very similar to the other one, but you could see how the AI does such a good job when you use smart. But now look at this top row of when I used this style image up here at the very top. Now, what we're going to do is come back over here into this database and show you how amazing this actually does. I'm going to search for the word Vikings. Now, remember this prompt is one I do definitely recommend. Here it is highlighted right here. I'll give you a few seconds to make sure you can write this down. Down, okay, once you do go ahead and copy it. It is very simple now head back over here into Canva and Reset everything and now paste this prompt in and now this time I am going to change up my specific subject But before we do again look how good of a job this one did everything is accurate The only mistake is that last image gave me two eyes, but still not bad at all It got it so right with this gorilla one right here Okay, and I even made this cool Apple logo now. Let's come back down here to this Vikings one. Okay, let's say I really like the way this looks right here. So I'll select this arrow button that says reuse prompt. And now it's placed again up here at the very top. Now this time I'm going to go back to smart, hit add image, use style reference, select from recent generations one more time. And let's do the same exact thing, but now change it up to see if we can get it with this kind of cool looking icon right here of this email icon. Okay. Now go ahead and then create this one. Look how amazing this actually did using that as a style reference. Look at all these Viking ones. That looks cool, modern, unique, easy to remove the background. It gave me everything that I wanted. Let's do it with the Fox now. Look how amazing this Fox logo looks. That is incredible. So now let's say we wanna go ahead and choose one. Let's take things to a brand new level and really customize and edit this. But before we do, we have to look at this amazing looking panda one. Look at this panda face. This looks fantastic. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and pick a logo out. Now, there are so many cool looking ones to choose from. I like so far these Viking ones right here with the accurate text, but I also like the easy and clean icon of these foxes right here. Look at that. I love that fox. And I also think this one is really cool right here. So for either one of these, all you have to do is hover over any of these logos. Okay. Once you hover over it, select the button that says edit right here. Right off the bat, instantly, Canva is going to open up the editor. And here it is. Just like that, there is my image. Now, watch this. Now, I'm going to actually click on the actual image and do one of two things. I can remove the background or select this edit button. And this is the power of Canva Magic Studio. Now, over here on the left-hand side, I have all these options that I can automatically choose from. Let's quickly remove the background by just simply selecting the remove background button and right off the bat look clean background very easy to use now let's change up the background color instead of purple how about gradient how about a different gradient so now every color i add to it it is a completely transparent background but what if we want our background to just be that transparent that way we can use it any way that we like okay simple all you have to do now is select your image up in the top right hand corner go to share download and make sure when you download it it's png file and now select transparent background hit download now your image will be downloaded completely transparent as a PNG file so you can use it across the board for any background. Before we wrap this up, I want to show you one more incredibly impressive thing. Now, here we are in Vikings. Let's go ahead and select another image. What we're going to do is select edit on this one right here. It takes me back into this document editor. I have my image selected and now remember after the image is clicked, Select edit. Now on the left hand side, we're going to use grab text. This is amazing. So just like that, it automatically detects my text. I'm completely hands free. On the left hand side, make sure click is selected. The AI is detecting the text. Hover over it. If it's highlighted all purple like that, it means it was pretty successful. Now select grab. Give it a few seconds. And now look at this. My text is completely detached from my logo. I'll delete my logo. There's my text. I can now change the color of my text. There it is. 100% removed from that logo. Okay. Let's hit that edit button one more time. Now watch this. Hover over your area. And right now it's detecting everything. I don't want to grab the whole entire thing. So in this case, I'm going to manually do it by selecting brush. Now just brush over your subject that you actually want to grab and remove from this actual file, okay? So I only want the Viking to come out, okay? I want to grab the Viking and only the Viking, leaving everything else. So there it is right there. Now select grab on the left-hand side. Again, wait a few seconds and now watch this. Beautiful, look at that. The Viking is there all by himself. Beautiful job. I can now remove this and there is my Viking. Look at that. Just the Viking by itself. And now look at that. Just like that. Amazing. And I can actually now export and download this as a PNG transparent file. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when more videos like this come out. But thank you so much for watching.